Are you ready to be linearly actuated? Well, I am, and I'm going to share this with you guys in this quick little video. Let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of Shop Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about this linear actuator I picked up. I'm working on a couple, actually, motion control projects and I needed a linear actuator so I went to Amazon and I picked this up for about a hundred bucks uh, it was the cheapest one I could find it's 400 millimeters of movement has a NEMA 23 and a ball screw uh, so it looks like a pretty nice design I'm pretty happy with it now one of the interesting things is on the side it has metal rails uh, placed in here and actually these wheels run along this uh, metal rail so when I first saw it on Amazon I kind of thought these were just regular wheels and ran inside of a V-Track uh, however this is a little bit higher resolution I think than a typical uh, V-Wheel on a V-Track so that's a good thing on the bottom we flip this over uh, it has a number of contained uh, T-nuts already in these various slots it looks like it has what four or five on each side and then the top platform also has V-nuts embedded in here. I'm sure you could probably pop these plastic retainers off or take this end off if you wanted to put your own in or move them. Uh, the, uh, it just comes with, you know, raw pigtails here. So you have to, you know, put your own connector on or solder on your own wires or what have you with this. Uh, but again, the NEMA 23 uh, will produce some pretty good sized torque. And that's one of the things I need. Let me get this back in frame here a little bit more because this thing is pretty large. Um, is I'm going to have a rather large assembly on here. And again, I don't want to spoil what I got coming up. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of weight. That's why I went with such a heavy duty unit is to be able to carry that weight effectively and at reasonable speeds. So anyways, if you're looking for a linear stage, something like this, I'll have the link down below. Kind of wanted to share it with you. I think for 100 bucks, it was uh, a pretty good value. It was the cheapest one I could find. Most were up around 100 and a half or so of this quality and magnitude. So anyways, if you find this interesting, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget, Swag Shop's going to be up in the corner. Got a lot of new cool stuff out there. Subscribe's going to be over there. And we'll catch you guys in the next video where we do something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.